Hi, I'm Steve from Brompton Technology and we're going to be looking at the new features of Tessera 2.2. These include processor redundancy, on-screen display, 90 degree panel rotation on the SX40 and we've added the Chinese language to the user interface. Let's start by looking at processor redundancy. Processor redundancy allows the user to have a backup processor take control should the primary processor lose source input, suffer from power or cabling issues, or fail to send signal to the panels. This process takes a couple of seconds but will reassociate your panels to the backup processor automatically if a problem is detected. Let's take a look at it in action. In this setup, we have an SX40 connected to two XDs and our panels in closed loop redundancy mode. We have added a second SX40 to provide processor redundancy. When failover is triggered manually using the button in the failover window, the backup processor automatically takes control of the system and reassociates the panel within a few seconds. If the always prefer primary if available checkbox is ticked, the processor will fail back over to the primary processor automatically when it becomes available. Otherwise, this can be achieved manually using a button. Processor redundancy can be used with or without our recently added closed loop redundancy functionality. Auto failover can be configured to activate under certain circumstances, such as loss of input video signal, or when the backup processor detects the primary processor is not outputting video for any other reason. The time before failover can also be configured. To access OSD, select your panels and then to the right of the screen you will see the OSD controls to click through the information available. Some of the information includes panel temperature, calibration information, individual panel settings, module layout and port status. It's also possible to view temperature and data errors over time with graphs per panel. Ninety degree rotation does not use additional bandwidth or increase overall panel or pixel count. But in the situation where the panel needs to be placed upside down or sideways, it can be done with ease. Users now have the option to use the Tessera interface in English or Chinese. To switch language, navigate to Settings, Preferences, Language, and here you will be able to select Chinese. The control app has been updated so some of the controls have sliders as opposed to hard values. We have also given the option to shut down or reboot multiple processors at once from the remote application. Other bug fixes for this release are available in the release notes. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest news, training and product information for Brompton Technology. If you need to get in contact with us, the details are in the description below. Thanks for watching.